I've had Apple Music for years and never really felt like getting another service just to play music on stream and be able to use a widget to show what we are listening to. So when Nutty made this wonderful video announcing that he made widgets for multiple major music services, I was excited that I would finally be able to use my service of choice and have a widget that displayed what was playing on stream. Nutty was even kind enough to release all of the widgets for free and they are now all currently available on his website, which you should definitely go check out and pay him all the money because he makes absolutely essential widgets for all of us smooth brain having ass bitches out there. So seriously, do yourself a favor, go to his site, look around, find something you like, and then donate a bunch of money to him. And leave a note that says, Jeefbird said I have to pay you, or you would come take my uh, objects and put them in my prison wallet. You get it. So this widget, awesome. Using Cider, awesome. What I was finding to be problematic was that there was and is no control for the app documented anywhere. Well, until now. I sat down for a day and decided to write a list of things I wanted to be able to do with the app using Twitch chat and StreamerBot. Once I had that list, I got to work on the most basic of things, simply getting StreamerBot to tell the app to play. <laughs> That's it. So I started writing code trying to get that to work and kept failing. So I reached out to the team at Cider via their Discord and Amaru, Amaru, one of the senior developers was most helpful, providing me with an example of something they had done in C Sharp outside of StreamerBot. It was enough to set me in the right direction and before I knew it, I had a working method to toggle the play state in Cider using C Sharp inside of StreamerBot. Next on the list was building a queue system that would allow users in Twitch chat to request songs which would then be loaded into Cider and played. This part was handled by Hustle in a matter of seconds. I swear, I wasn't even halfway done celebrating my mediocre victory of getting the app to press play when he sent over a working code that would take any artist and song requested in chat and return the Apple Music information for that item. So I added a single line to that code which just took the track ID and saved it to a global variable and then we wrote code together to take that track ID and send it to the queue inside of Cider. Once that was done and working, I just had to finish my last two items on the list, get it to play the music when a song was requested, and get it to show what was playing inside of the widget on stream inside of OBS. For the first, it was just a matter of deciding whether a song was already playing or not, and having autoplay turned on inside of Cider's queue. And the second was a choice to have it show the currently playing song every time a track is requested or allow people in chat to show what is currently playing with a command. And then boom, a fully realized operational chat controlled queue system for Cider. For all of you Apple Music users out there, like me. Now, if you watched this far into the video, that means you either really like me or you too use Apple Music and would like to use this in your streams. Well, if it is the first one, I really like you too. We should hang out sometime. If you would like to use this in your channel, it is really easy. Just learn how to code shit and get yourself a Hustle Crow, you scrub. Down in the description below, you will find a link to my Discord server, and in the YouTube assets channel of the server, you will find the import string that will give you every single one of the actions I just mentioned. Yeah, that's right. You're welcome. All you have to do is set up tiny little things. 
You just have to go in and change two things in one of the C-sharp codes. So you will find written instructions on that with screenshots in that thread. And just in case you would rather watch me take you through it here. All you have to do is open the show and hide widget action, then double click the widget C sharp code and swap out where it says scene and where it says source for the names of your scene and source where your music widget is. Worth mentioning that this action is used to show and hide the widget on stream. So it's not always visible when using this. If you want it to just be visible at all times, just go ahead and disable this action. To get this to run properly and test it, have Cider open, click the turn on Q action, and then right click the test trigger and click test, which will turn on autoplay inside of Cider. Alternatively, you can just click the infinity symbol in the top right of Cider but that would be lame and defeat the purpose of this. You should also make sure to open Cider before you open StreamerBot when you're going to stream in the future, as this action is also set to trigger on StreamerBot startup, so it can automatically turn on autoplay. You can disable this action if you would rather manually turn it on in the app itself each time you start Cider. You can also change the names of the commands if you would like to. Uh, they are currently set to exclamation point now playing and exclamation point song. The first of which shows the widget on demand by chat. And the second is used by chatters to request a song to add to the queue. Once you have everything set up the way you would like it to be set up, you can open your Twitch chat and type exclamation point song or whatever you changed it to, and then type the artist's name, comma, the song name. By the way, shout out to Spacehopper81 for suggesting using a comma to separate the artist and song. It really helps to pull exactly what you were intending to from Apple Music. I, I, didn't, I didn't even think about it. It should immediately find the song. A few seconds later, it will be added to the queue, and a few seconds later, it will automatically play. Once it is playing, if you request another song, it will add it to the queue and display the currently playing song on stream if you choose to keep your widget hidden like I did. If you watched this video to this point, I would greatly appreciate it if you liked the video by clicking the button. And if you want to keep up to date with things I do and post on StreamerBot, OBS, Touch Portal, and more, please consider subscribing to the channel. I am so close to my goal of 1,000 subscribers, and I thank every single one of you that keep bringing me closer to that goal. If you wanna hang out and ask questions or just lurk in the corner, come sit in a uh, live stream sometime. I go live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. And as always, take care and stay safe. <laughs>